How you doing YouTube? It's Jay Loves You Too. Um, here again for another video. In this particular video, I'm on talking about um, the the significance of hair, and we need to understand what hair truly is. A lot of people don't know what hair is, and there is much that science is yet to tell you about the true function of hair and why do we grow hair. Our first start by saying hair is not dead protein like what they teach in schools currently they teach people that uh, hair is just dead protein I'm telling you now that hair is living tissue um, it depends on what hair type you have but for this particular video I'm gonna speak of kinky hair black hair and I'm going to basically break down some elements or some things you should know about the functionality of your hair. Your hair is an extension of your nervous system. If you want to know how your nervous system looks like with all the wires and connections, just take a good look at the top of your head. That's basically the nature of your nervous system and your body. Um, and the hair on top of our heads is basically an extension of our nervous system. Just like inside the body, your nervous system is the medium by which your brain power, your thought power can be, can take manifestation in your body. And your nervous system is basically the, is basically the, um, is basically the tool your body uses to uh, send messages and so forth. Just like inside the body, the nervous system on top of your head, your hair, serves exactly the same function. Believe it or not, your hair is a form of a, a antenna. It's basically like your eyes. It's an antenna that receives signals and it dishes out signals. Um, you really need to understand that your nervous system is powered by electricity, it's powered by magnetism, it's, poly it's powered by holographic energy, and you need to understand that your hair is your nervous system, and by cutting your hair off, you're basically cutting off your charge. When you look at the anatomy of the hair, it's like a spring, and as you compress this spring what happens kinetic energy is generated and that's why nappy hair is always prone of compressing is always prone of compressing and this here is a function of generating energy by compressing your hair you're holding in that electrical magnetic charge and that's basically the role of your hair your hair is an insulator. It keeps the energy from the solar from the solar radiations from all different avenues and it's basically an insulator for that energy. I'd like to I'd like you to know that your your hair is basically magnets and the more hair you have, the better your ability to attract certain things into your aura. And this is a science that we have forgotten, and it's a tragedy because so many people are trying to attract love to themselves. So many people are trying to attract certain people to help them on their journey. And you need to understand that the roles, uh, one of the main functions of your hair is basically to attract people to you. Um, it's not by coincidence why different tribes will always use the same hairstyles within their tribe and this is because of the energetic relationship hair has with other people uh, if you have similar qualities in hair with uh, individuals you you will often be more attracted to those individuals and that is why it's very easy to find uh, individuals that have uh, the popular hair hairstyle dreadlocks to have such a strong bond and that's the magnetic principles in the hair taking place hair is used to attract people on a similar wavelength and your wavelength is being is being stored in your hair 
your hair is basically your brain all the energies being processed in your brain circulates at your hair and overall these energies will balance out and, pro and start projecting a wavelength and this wavelength that your hair is projecting that's what attracts so many things to you and it gives you a big boost in your aura field but the tragedy is is that most people are cutting off this divine organ and they're basically numbering themselves out your nervous system is a tool used to gather information your hair one of the main functions of your hair is to gather information it's like a sixth sense it's like a fourth pair of eyes you got your two eyes you got your third eye and then you and then you got your fourth eye and that is your hair by cutting off your hair you'll be less sensitive to subtle stimuli and the more hair you have your better your ability to connect with your immediate environment like I said before your hair is like antennas and anything alive is producing magnetism of some kind It's producing some type of holographic energy and your hair is and it's just like a it's like a radar it, it allows you to connect with anything that is producing energy when you cut your hair off what happens you basically isolate yourself from the whole world and you become you just become numbed out humans were masters of the planet they were supposed to be connected to everything just like in the avatar movie they had a, a, co a complete balance with their surroundings but unfortunately when you cut your hair off that connection is harder to maintain and what is the end result you have humans living a cancerous lifestyle they're they're beyond the natural order and everything is just so messed up so this this video is just a quick breakdown on hair basically the more hair you have the more power your nervous system will be able to generate the more hair you have the stronger your aura's ability to attract certain things to you if you're looking for love if you're looking for um companionship the best thing for you to do is to grow your hair long to have a magnetic center on top of your head when you shave your hair off or the less energy you have up there your hair the less your ability to attract um you will need to know that your hair is living tissue your hair is meant to be respected uh the more black hair is meant to coil you up it's meant to be compressed it's meant to tangle you should know that anytime you strength anytime you strengthen your hair anytime you remove that curl and make it straight you are losing potential magnetism your hair could have potentially generated remember your hair is springs when the springs compress electricity is generated magnetism is generated but if your hair is straight or if you make your hair straight or if you tamper it that's that's a uh, you're losing potential magnetism your hair encases your thoughts is basically history is basically your database for your uh, journey so you can really tell when somebody went through a lot by seeing their long hair it encases all their thoughts uh, and stuff like that but yeah man this video is straight out from the blue I'm just here sun gazing and I just wanted to do a video so I just decided to speak about hair there will be more videos about hair but this will be just a quick breakdown a quick summary of all the good things you should know about hair hair absorbs the sunlight for you it's like an extra pair of skin an extra pair of eyes for you and your hair is basically your power when you cut your hair off you basically numb yourself off you basically isolate yourself from the planet and you lose your ability to generate energy your hair springs guys when you cut off your hair you're losing magnetism the more magnetism you have the greater your impact on the world sorry the the batteries had you know got low but basically the more magnetism you have the more power you have the the greater your ability to manipulate uh, reality um, you need to understand that your hair is like batteries your hair does encase water and what you need to know about water anywhere you find water that's where you find life 
uh, your hair is like a battery and it sits on top of your head and with the water it basically stores uh, your aura field it basically stores your thoughts and you need to start to see your hair as something very significant because uh, it's a tragedy and people they know that a great deal of our power come from our hair and that's why they want to they want to make it so beneficial of you cutting it. They want you to they want you they want you not to feel as though you can function in society if your hair is long. They want you to feel as though you can't function in society unless your hair is cut and that's a big lie. Please don't cut your hair. You cutting your hair is like you spitting in the face of your ancestors. It's like you slapping your ancestors. Your hair is there for a reason in case it's water and water has consciousness. Water can store memories. Water changes its shape based on your thoughts, based on your the sounds in the atmosphere. And you need to understand this thing on your head isn't dead protein, it's you, it's your essence, it's life. Uh, there's gonna be more videos on here. I'm gonna teach you certain techniques, certain things. You already know, man, it's all love. Jay loves you too, I love you so much. There's no cause of anything. Embrace divinity. Embrace your Buddhahood. You are the Buddha. You are divine. You are love. Hey. Alright guys, see you next time.